Hey everyone, it's Allie and welcome to my channel. I am gonna be doing something that I've been putting off for literally three months and that is decluttering my clothes because I feel like I've been buying a lot of clothes lately because I have been in the mindset of I really wanna build up my high quality basics collection and I took advantage of Black Friday sales at the end of 2022 from Everlane and Madewell and I did get some high quality basics and I've also just been you know collecting some better pieces as I've gone out thrifting which is great but you know I really haven't gotten rid of anything in quite a while and I am just absolutely overflowing with clothes at this point. My husband and I both, we just really need to go through our stuff. And I've been putting it off honestly because I am trying to lose some weight and I wanted to kind of wait until I got to where I felt really good and healthy. And I am probably gonna do a whole second decluttering where I like try everything on, hopefully in just a few months when I am feeling a bit better. But the fact of the matter is I really am overflowing with clothes right now. And many of the items that I probably will be getting rid of, I will go and sell them in my Poshmark. So if they do fit me better at a different point in time, I can probably just pull them right out of my Poshmark closet. And I actually already did go through all my drawers where I have, you know, my t-shirts, my shorts, my leggings, my bras, my underwear, I did all that off of camera. And I also did go through my chest of sweatshirts as well as my pants and my skirts. So I've got a bit of a pile going on already, so that's great, but my closet really needs some work. Okay, so yeah, this is my catch-all little couch in my bedroom where everything gets thrown. But you can see I have gone through a lot. These are a lot of sweatshirts as well as skirts. And then this pile over here is mostly bottoms. And most of these bottoms, it's not even that they don't fit me. I just like the idea of them more than the actual pants themselves. Like you can see this pair on top. It's a pair of white pants with like a ditzy floral print on it and I love the idea of it because I'm a total 90s girl but in reality I'm just like never gonna wear those pants <laughs> and then there are some other like colored pants that I just am never gonna wear. Some really cool purple denim Levi's and yeah I just I'm not gonna wear them so I need to get rid of them and then I did already pull out a couple vintage silk tops because they were like in a different place than my closet. Again, I just, I love the idea of them, but I never wear them. And then like I said, I did go through my drawers already. And then there are my little puppy boys, Bernard. Yes, yeah, so if you hear any clickety clackety is this video, that's these boys. And then this chest here, which is not very small at all, is full of my sweatpants and sweatshirts. And I actually did get rid of a fair amount and it's still stuffed to the brim. So I really need to have, like if I get a sweatshirt or a pair of sweatpants, I need to get rid of something in here. Because even though I wear a lot of loungewear, I don't need more than this amount. Yeah, and then this is kind of just the overall bedroom. I do want to do a whole bedroom tour in the future when we're all finally done, but yeah. Pretty cozy. And then we have a bathroom attached to our bedroom, which I'm not gonna show you because it's not very clean right now. And then on the other side, we do have a walk-in closet. And it's not uber small, like I'm very, very grateful that we have a walk-in closet, but we're definitely full to the brim in here. So this side over here is my stuff. It's like jackets and then short sleeves into blouses. And then it's like sweaters into dresses. And I wish that I could say that these are all the clothes that are normally in my closet, but I do also have a bin underneath my bed that's like all my very specifically summer clothes. So we'll go through that in a few months as well. But then we do have these shelves above. So I've got some denim. Like I said, I did already go through my bottoms. So just a few pairs of denim and then like a pair of black jeans and then like some fancier paper bag waist jeans my leather pants, and then I did keep one really nice pair of linen pants from C New York, which is a really nice brand. And then I do just have a couple skirts as well. This one's actually a skirt, And then I've got like a black faux leather one, and then two different patterned midi skirts that I do like to wear. But I still do need to go through my scarves. These are all my bags that I don't wear. And then I do have all these belts, which I probably 
really won't get rid of any of those, but we'll just look to make sure. And then as you go around, <laughs> these are all Ryan's pants. So I'll let him go through those. Hopefully I'll be able to include that in this video but he might have to do that after I edit this and upload it. And then he's got his shoes up there and then all of his clothes. Ryan's major thing is he needs to go through his drawers because that's where like all his athletic stuff is. And then I've got a whole lot of shoes down there, which I need to go through and get rid of at least a few, but that's going to be tough because I don't know if you're like me, but I feel like I have a lot of shoes that go with like one or two outfits and I would need to replace them as soon as I got rid of them. And then I've got a stack of overflow stuff down here and we probably have like three loads of laundry in the laundry room right now. So I just really, really need to get rid of a good amount of stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into this. I'll talk a little bit about the process, but really I have an idea of a lot of the stuff that I'm gonna get rid of already and I'm feeling really excited about just like clearing up the clutter because cluttered house, cluttered rooms, cluttered mind, I've definitely been feeling that way lately. And my thought process is I'm gonna keep my like good quality basics and I do really love pattern. I love colors, I love prints, and I still am going to keep a lot of my pattern pieces but because I do have my Poshmark closet, I am thinking that I'm just gonna start like borrowing a lot of stuff from my Poshmark closet, either to wear for videos or if I'm just going out for a couple hours. But I want my personal closet to be more high quality basics, like I said, and just like my very favorite pattern pieces. And I'm gonna be more intentional about getting rid of like duplicates if I have similar items that kind of serve the same purpose, as well as pieces that I like, but like they just don't look that good on me or they fit me in a weird way. They hit me at a strange place. Because if you watch my channel, you know, of course, I love thrifting. I'm sure you love thrifting too. And it can be really easy to just buy things because you like them and they're a good price, but maybe they're just not the right piece for you. So these are not all my jackets. I do have like some thicker ones in my actual coat closet in like the main area of my house. These are more like my jackets, which, you know, I live in the Midwest, I live in Ohio, so I'm not mad about having a good amount of jackets because I do feel like most of these serve different purposes, but I do have a few different athletic ones I feel like I can get rid of. So first up, I do have this Saturday Sunday piece, so it's anthropology, and even though there is a bit of wear to it, and I'm gonna try to get rid of stuff that has wear, I feel like it kind of works with the piece, like you can't really tell that much. And I do like this because it is a higher quality athletic piece that goes with really anything, any kind of like bottoms I would wear. This one, if you remember, if you saw, I did a video a while ago, probably like six months ago, maybe like the end of summer, beginning of fall, where I tried out different pieces from Walmart's free assembly line. And that's like their sustainability line. And everything was decently priced. And I was drawn to this one because it was a good price. And I said that I didn't have anything like this and I didn't, but at the same time, I didn't pull this out all fall. <laughs> it still has the tags on it. And as you'll see in a little bit, I'm going to get rid of a lot of things that are white because I'm a very pale person and I feel like when it's cold and I would wear something like this or sweaters that are white, I just don't look good in them because I'm too pale. So even though I felt like I needed this, I felt like there was a hole for something like this in my closet. I didn't wear it. I am pretty happy to get rid of it. So this is the first one. Okay, same goes for this one. This is a little bit painful, but when I found this at the thrift store, I thought, oh, it's so cool, you know, vintage Adidas jacket, but I just never wear it. And I'm gonna get rid of a lot of vintage things for that same reason. Like, I really like them, I think they're cool but I just don't actually wear my vintage stuff hardly at all. And that's okay, I just don't need it then. Next I've got these two black cardigans and I think both of these are nice. This one I could maybe get rid of because I've never actually worn it, but I feel like as soon as I get rid of it, I'm gonna need it because it's just that perfect like black cardigan that's lightweight, that's perfect to throw over a dress for like a fall or spring event. So I think I am gonna keep this for now because I haven't had it super long. And then I have had this cardigan. This might be one of the oldest things in my closet. I've had it so long, but it's just really nice to throw on. It's actually inside out, but it's really nice to throw on 
over just like a basic outfit, I think, in the fall and winter. So I am gonna keep both of those. But then I forgot, I do have this, which is very similar. So I think I am actually gonna get rid of this card again. It is BCBG Max Azra, so it's good quality. So I will still list this on my Poshmark. I just kind of prefer the cut of this one. I think it's more flattering on my figure because it's more like a V shape and hits me like at my smallest point. This rain jacket I just picked up from the thrift store. You can see it's still got my thrift store tag on it. And it's just all in motion from Target. But I really like the color of this rain jacket. I think it's a good length. So I'll definitely get a lot of wear out of this as soon as spring hits here in Ohio. This is a jacket I get so much wear out of. Kind of like I was talking with that little black one. I really like how it's kind of like a V shape. It just is more flattering on me than a lot of other denim jackets. So I will probably keep this forever. This denim jacket is not really that flattering on me, but I don't really care because it's just like a very comfortable one that I can throw on over like a t-shirt and leggings and like my Doc Martin type of boots for a grunge look. So I really like this one. This is H&M. I actually got it from Plato's Closet like a couple years ago for a really good price. Nice jacket from Forever 21. I thrifted last fall. Super cozy. Love that one. And then I haven't worn this yet, but I was lacking like a leather or faux leather moto jacket. And I do wear that style a lot. So I will definitely get a lot of wear out of this in the spring and fall. I just haven't had it that long. And this I got off of Thread Up for a great price. It is new with tags Worthington. And this was originally $109. And I really like like the quilted look to it. And I think I got this for maybe like 20 max. Another Forever 21. Kind of surprising that I have a couple Forever 21 pieces, but some other stuff like really is good. It serves its purpose. And this is another one that I like to kind of just throw over dresses in the spring and summer. This is probably my favorite jacket of all time. I got this off of Thread Up. It was under like a sorted brand, so I got it super cheap but I just love the cut of it. I always get so many compliments every time I wear it. So I'll definitely have this until it inevitably becomes like really messed up. But it looks like this is from a brand I never heard of called LA Ola. So yeah, I'm not even sure what this brand is at all, but maybe I should be on the lookout for more stuff from them because just love this jacket. I love green. Then this is one I totally forgot. I thrifted this. It is a Madewell jacket and it is new with tags. And I think I did get this like in the winter, so it was a little bit too cold to wear it. So this is one I might kind of see if I reach for it or not over the next few months. And if I don't, I might go ahead and sell it because it is new with tags, made well. But I do really like the color of this. I think it's very, very nice. And I like that it hits at a good point. It doesn't hit too long on me. But I'm so happy about these finds. I had been looking for good blazers for quite a while. And I really, really like both of these. So this is a good pattern one. I think it's a little bit longer, very Pinterest vibe. So I'm definitely gonna wear that a lot in the fall. And then this is a great, more neutral one. I think I got both of these on the same trip. It was really a good day for me, but this is super, super comfortable. I think it's just really nice to have like a neutral blazer and then like the pattern one. But it's good to go through your closet like this, even if you're not really decluttering, I feel like, because then you know what you have. And now I know I really don't need any jackets. I can't think of like a type of jacket that I'm really lacking in at the moment. So unless I found something that was like super funky, super rare, I don't really need to pick anything up. Now I have this like 70s vibe vest and this is one that I've thought about getting rid of a couple of times, but I do always wear it like a couple times every fall and I feel like if I did get rid of it, I would be looking for it and I would be wanting to replace it because I think this is a super cute look to wear over like a white turtleneck and just jeans and boots. So I like it. It is kind of getting a little bit worn because this isn't like a super high quality piece. So maybe I'll be on the lookout for a slightly better version of this, but I do really like this style. And then last for kind of like the jacket area, this one, it's like a cardigan, I guess, but it definitely serves its purpose as a jacket. This is Madewell. I can't remember actually if I thrifted this or I got this from maybe like Madewell's Black Friday sale. Maybe I got it like off of thread up, not sure, but it's a pretty thick, quilted cardigan and it does have the little waist tie there. So I think I'll get a lot of wear out of this this spring and fall for sure. <laughs> All right, so I didn't get rid of like hardly anything, but I knew that that was gonna happen because I was pretty aware of all of the jackets that I have. So yeah, now it's time to really 
get rid of some stuff. And first up, another free assembly piece that I thought I needed. Mostly just got it for the video, but I'm going to get rid of it. I think it is super cute. It should be buttoned up, but I thought that this would be a good like transition tank from summer into fall, but I just don't really like this color on myself. I'm not a big fan of brown, so I am just gonna sell it and I'm glad that I didn't take the tags off. This is one of my favorite tanks of all time. It's Maeve by Anthropology, super colorful. Like I said, I do have some summer and spring stuff under my bed that we're not even gonna talk about today because I just cannot, but this is one that I do actually like to wear with like a moto jacket or something like that layered when it's colder. I think it's like very cute to wear on its own, but also a pop of color under a neutral jacket. I think I am gonna get rid of this one. I do really like the cut of it and I like how it looks on me, but I'm just not 100% a fan of this color. And those are the things that I wanna get rid of because they tend to sit in my closet forever because I don't dislike them, but I just never really take them out to wear. I think I got this in a huge thread up bulk box. It's a 100% cashmere pink tank sweater from Lauren Ralph Lauren. I am really excited to wear this with some skirts. Good basic, a Zara 100% linen top. I do like these high quality basics because you can wear them with jeans and sneakers, or I could wear this with a skirt or even layered over a dress. This express top I am gonna get rid of. I did wear it a bit because I think it is a good basic, but I've kind of leveled up and I've got some nicer black tops. Same for this old navy one. I think I just kind of took this because I got it in a thread up box and I do like the color, but I just don't really need it. Just old navy, so nothing too crazy. This one I actually really like. I wore it in a few videos and just out and about and you guys always like complimented me whenever I wore it. I do really, really like it, but it's Shein, so it just has not held up well at all. You can see like what is even happening with the shape. It's gotten super pilly from just a few washes. So even though I do really like this, this is probably like my favorite graphic t-shirt I've ever had. It just did not hold up because it's Shein. Would not recommend. <laughs> so I try to keep all my basics kind of in a row. So like I said, I had a higher quality black top. So this is made well, gonna keep it. I think all of these are made well. This is a good one. I like to wear this in the fall, so I'm gonna keep that one. And then I think this is a really pretty basic for spring. I do also have this Everlane black top, and I am gonna keep this along with the Madewell one because this one is a V-neck and the other one is more of a crew neck and this has like a boxier cut. So I feel like I'll still wear both of them. I am gonna get rid of this Express graphic tee. It's just kind of like that awkward fit on me where it is like a little bit bigger than it should be to be flattering, but it's not long enough to wear with like bike shorts or something like that. So I like the print, but I'm just gonna get rid of this one. I do like this Rolling Stones top. I got this at some kind of like craft fair. And this I like more because it is that cropped fit. So it's just a bit more flattering, I think, with high-waisted pants. Lucky brand, really comfy keeping that one. Another Madewell basic. This one I'm kind of debating on because I don't really love to wear gray, but I don't know, I wouldn't be mad if I had literally like this made well basic in every color. So I'm gonna keep that for now, but I'll kind of just like pay attention to if I actually wear it. This is just a random like no name one that I got in a box, not gonna wear it. J. Crew basic, super cozy, so I'm debating. I think I'll keep it for now because I feel like this would be cute with like the moto jacket over top. I do like this denim and supply top. Don't love the color, but it's really comfy from American Eagle. Gonna get rid of this one for pretty much the same reason. This is Jane and Delancey. I think I got it like at TJ Maxx. I I actually really like this top. It's a wrap one from J. Jill. This is We The Free and I do really like the color. I like the idea of it, but it does kind of fit me a little bit weird and it's like a little bit too low cut. So I have to wear a bralette underneath it and it's just too much work. So even though I like it, just not worth it. So I think this one is actually a Lululemon top. It probably should be in my chest of athletic stuff, but this one I could dress up. I don't love that it has like that big open part there, but I'll definitely still wear it. This one I haven't worn. I definitely want to lose a little bit of weight before I wear something like tighter on my stomach, but I cannot get rid of this. I think it's so cool. I love the color. It says Harley Davidson, great shape. So I'm gonna keep this for a long time probably. Really like this, just kind of a basic black top, but it has that lace detail. I am gonna get rid of this Ann Taylor one. I thought it would be nice to like dress up with, but I 
really never dress up. Maeve, Anthropology. I like the length of this one. I do like this one a lot. I think it's super cute, but just like a little bit too tight in my back, unfortunately. This one I do really like. It is from Anthropology. I think it is made by Anthropology, but it's just a little bit too low cut. I wear this all the time, so I should get rid of it, but cannot yet. <laughs> this one is super awkward. I was thinking about getting rid of it a little bit ago because I wore this, it's a free people dress, or it was a dress, and then it like majorly shrunk in the wash. And I thought, well, I could just wear it as a tunic, but like the lining pops out now. So I feel like it just looks weird. Like it looks like it got shrunk. So even though I love this, I think it's so pretty, I am gonna have to get rid of it. This I think is a super fun one. I've got a pair of black overalls. I think it's cute to wear with this. And yeah, just a good fall top. This one I actually am gonna get rid of as well. I do really like it, but again, just like a little bit too low cut so you can see your bra. So you have to wear a bralette and just don't feel like it. I don't even know why I have this in my closet. It's altered state. I think I tried to sell it. It wasn't getting any attention and I thought maybe it'd be cute for fall, but it's off the shoulders and I haven't worn it in two years. So I'm not gonna wear it ever. Love this Madewell top. Another good Madewell, you can see. I do like Madewell. Like, I feel like their basics are great. They have good patterns. I feel like they're pretty modest, but still cute. This is just a great one to throw on with some jeans. I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is Brooks Brothers. <laughs> you can see I still got my thrift tag on there. I thought I was gonna try to be a little bit of a button-up girl, and I just never reached for it in the last, like, six months, and I just realistically don't think I'm gonna ever wear it. This is a J. Crew Mercantile piece. I think this is a great basic. I love the peplum fit v-neck, but not like a plunge neck. I think this is just a really nice staple. Getting rid of this one, thrifted it, never wore it, just don't really like the shape of it on me. This one I've had forever from Loft, and I think it's super pretty, but it has gotten like a little bit stretched out over the years. Like I've literally had this so long and I think my mom had it before me. And so it is like a little too low cut now, but such a pretty color, I think. This one I like because it's like a more feminine take on like the denim button down. It has, you know, like the peplum top to it. So I like that. Then this one, just your classic chambray. You just need it. If I got rid of it, I would have to get it again. I do like this one a lot, but I think it did shrink a little bit, maybe a little bit too small. So I might keep this for now. And then when I try everything on in a few months, we'll see if it makes the cut. I feel like you just need this Buffalo check top in your life. I wear in the fall. Cute layering piece. I really like this one. I think it's cute to wear with leggings and like some moto boots. And then this I should probably get rid of because it is flawed because this is a really cute Elizabeth and James button up and it has like these little pieces on it, I don't, like not pearls, beads, I guess. And some of them are missing, but I feel like they're missing in a way now that makes it look like it's almost intentional. And this is super comfy. I really like this for the fall. So I am gonna keep it for now, but probably we'll have to get rid of eventually. All right, here is where we're gonna really, really make some cuts because if you can see, I've got all of these like white cream sweaters and like I said before, I just like don't look good in this color in the seasons where you wear them because I'm too pale. So there are a few that I'm gonna keep because I like to put some over like maxi dresses in the spring and summer. And I do think you need just like one high quality, thick cream or white sweater. So this one I'm gonna keep. I think it is a nice cut for me. <laughs> good to put over dresses, like I said. This one I'm gonna get rid of. I got it thrifting and I wanted to pick it up because it was just a good deal for what it was. It's 100% wool. So it's a little bit itchy. And this is J. Crew, And I do like the cut of it, like it hits me pretty well. But yeah, I just, I don't look good in this color. <laughs> I'm also gonna get rid of this one from Lumiere. This one is super cozy, but just, you know, not the best for me. Also gonna get rid of this from Soft Joie. Another really cute cozy one. This is the thick one that I am gonna keep. This is from Zara. I just really love the look of this. It gives me like very New York vibes with some nice jeans and like boots and a coat over top. So I really do love this piece. And if I go to New York anytime soon, I'm gonna wear this, unless it's summer. <laughs> this is where it's gonna get a little tough because I feel like I need to get rid of one of these because they're kind of the same vibe. This one is Joie and it's like a silk blend, I think, so super comfy. And this one is more of like an actual top. This one is from Everlane. 
And I actually like bought this not that long ago at the end of last year with their like end of the year sale. And this one I think is a good one to layer, but it's super, super sheer. So you absolutely have to wear something over it. But I don't know. I feel like this doesn't quite give like the under a garment turtleneck vibe. So I'm gonna keep both for now. And then this one, I was really excited when I found this. I think at literally Plato's Closet. It is a Madewell texture and thread top. And I do like the cut of it, but I wish it was actually just like a little bit more cropped. That would fit me better. So I don't know. I need to try this one on again. But again, it's just like not the most flattering color on me. So I think I'll get rid of that actually. And then if I really feel like I need it, I'll pull it out of my Poshmark closet. This is your classic Chaser Thermal. I think we've all got one of these. And you'll see, I do have one in a different color. So I'm gonna get rid of this one and keep the other one. This sweater, I have no idea why I ever thought I would look good in it. It's kind of like a weird tan color, <laughs> so. Never wore it, not going to wear it. This is that other Chaser one. I just like the color of this one so much more on me. Gonna get rid of this one. Just a gray, blue and gray top. But it, I think it's a modal blend, so it is pretty comfy. I am gonna keep this one. I don't love that it's gray, but I do wear this one quite a bit as I really like the neckline a lot. I am going to keep this one for now. <laughs> that is a really cute leopard from Ruli. I thought I'd wear this one more because I like like the length of it, but I just never wore it all fall or winter. So I am gonna get rid of this. This is from Topshop. Another like high quality thick sweater that I thought I needed in my life, but never wore it all winter. I love the idea of this. I think if I was built more just like straight up and down with no curves, this would be super, super cute, but it just is not flattering on me. And this I believe is 100% wool and it is from Gap. Just a classic black turtleneck essential. I like this top a lot from Soft Surroundings. Soft Surroundings actually is one of my favorite basic brands. There's another top from Madewell that I got on their sale. I just Really like the cut of it. I haven't worn it yet though. I'm gonna try to be a lot better about like actually getting dressed every day and not just wearing loungewear all the time. This one is so pretty. I'm gonna have to like really get confident to wear this, but I thrifted this and it is just the most gorgeous thing. I think it's so dark academia. Wearing this over like the black turtleneck with, I don't know, black jeans or something. It's a look I'm gonna wear in the fall. <laughs> this is a pretty cute green cardigan. I like to wear it buttoned up as a top or I could wear it like open over a dress. I've got these two kind of fall vibe turtlenecks. This one I am gonna get rid of. I think it is cute, like vintage pumpkins, but I didn't wear it <laughs> in the fall and that's like the only time I could wear it. I'm not a huge Halloween girly, so some other Halloween girly can get that one. I do like this one a lot and I think it does work for like fall, winter, spring, and I've worn this quite a bit. I actually just got this not that long ago, like from the American Eagle store. So I should not have paid what I did for it, but it's just like not the fit I wanted. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more oversized and I could wear it with leggings, but it's not long enough on me. So yeah, it's just not the fit I wanted, so I'm gonna sell it. Sad, but you gotta be honest with yourself. This one, another cute top to wear, like buttoned up as a shirt. This is like a good length, I think, to wear with leggings, and I like the color. Again, another cardigan <laughs> I like to wear buttoned up. Just a cozy free people sweater. I do have a few in like the pink tones because I do really like to wear pink a lot. This one, it just, again, it's like a weird length on me, not long enough to wear with leggings, but like, just too long to wear with jeans almost. This is BP, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. This one from Lou and Gray is kind of a similar vibe, but I like this one better. This purple one from Loft, I actually really like the cut of it, but it looks really bad on me. And it does have a stain on it that I missed when I thrifted it. And then this is one of my favorite sweaters of all time from Ruli. I think just super cute. I wear this one a lot. I'm feeling good already, guys. We got rid of a lot of stuff. Let's not forget though that I do have things in the laundry room that I'm not gonna get rid of because I wear them, but I do have more clothes than this. Okay, next, dresses and jumpsuits. This is one, I have a feeling I'm gonna get rid of it soon, but I'm gonna keep it for now because I have worn it with like a turtleneck layered underneath it. I'm gonna get rid of a lot of these vintage dresses because I just don't wear them. This one is really cute, but I have literally nowhere to wear it. This one I might sell eventually, but I think this will be really cute for like a fall wedding. I just need to get invited to one. So I really like this one a lot. It's actually new with tags, Nicole Miller. And I think I got this in a thread up box or some kind of consignment box. This one I think I am gonna keep for a special occasion. This is one of those like random, really, really nice and expensive 
European brands that nobody in the US knows about. So it doesn't sell very well, but it's very, very high quality. And I do really like that color green a lot. So I do work with a nonprofit and we're having some bigger events. So if we're doing like a casino night or something like that, I probably will reach for this dress. I do like this one a lot, but it's just not good for my body type, I feel like. These like straight up and down dresses. So even though I really like it, I'm gonna get rid of it. This one I love from Soft Surroundings. I wear it all the time, but it does have some like oil stains or something, so. I just need to remember to try to get those out. This one I am gonna keep for now. I don't know, I probably will get rid of it eventually, but I just kind of love it. It's like vintage free people and it's super velvety. I just am not like super in love with the colors, but I think this would be really cute with the black turtleneck underneath and tights and chunky black boots for the fall. Just got this one not that long ago. It's just a Lululemon athletic dress. Love, love this vintage dress. It's gonna be <laughs> one of the only ones that I do keep. This one I'm gonna get rid of. It is just like a <laughs> red toned maxi dress. Again, just like not the most flattering on my body type. Gonna get rid of this one for the same reason. It's really nice quality, Parker Smith. I got this for a great deal on Poshmark. I got a bundle from this one chick. So I just added it in there. Oh, man, now I'm like debating. I feel like this is really nice. I'm gonna keep this and I need to like retry it on. This vintage little denim wrapper, I was so excited to get. I think it's so cool and unique, but it just fits me kind of weird because it actually fits me really well everywhere. But then there's like, in here, there's weirdly extra space in that like crotch area. And I feel like it's just kind of strange. So unfortunately, I am gonna get rid of it because I love it, but I never wore it because it fit me weird. Random Wild Fable Target dress that I got from Play-Dohs. I am gonna get rid of this one. It's 100% silk vintage, really, really pretty, but don't have anywhere to wear it. Uh, this one I think I am actually gonna get rid of because there is a little bit of damage to it, but it's a really cute kind of like 90s style midi dress. Would be really cute for fall though. And I think this one was also like a little bit too tight in my back. This is just a literal gray sweater dress and it is pretty pilly and I could just sweater shave it. I'm not excited about it at all. <laughs> you know, it's not like something that brings me a lot of joy. It does have these like button details, which is really the only fun thing about it. But I think I am just gonna keep it as just like that safe dress for the fall and winter. This one I do like a little bit more. It's also just a neutral, a navy blue from A New Day from Target, but I like that this one has the puff sleeves. So you know what? I feel like this fits the neutral sweater dress. I don't really need this. <laughs> this one is just a solid black dress. This is actually from Ashley Graham and her clothes are like made with curvier people in mind. So I do really like this dress. I like the cut of it. I like the sleeves. This is a vintage dress I'll probably keep forever. I absolutely love it. I wore this for like a 1940s dinner train theme and I think it's so, so pretty. And it does come with a matching belt that's somewhere. I also do really like this vintage dress for fall. Love this one a lot. It reminds me of like a Van Gogh painting. Gonna get rid of this one. I like it, but I feel like the neckline is just like a little weird on me. I might get rid of this one in the future. It's a Maeve Anthropology shirt dress. I definitely have to wear this with tights underneath it but I think it is still super cute, especially with like a black waist belt. This is randomly one of my favorite dresses I've ever had. It's literally just H&M and I've got the sleeves tucked in, but I think it's so pretty. I love the neckline. I love the black with the flowers. It's actually long enough on me, so that's amazing. I like to wear this with tights and booties in the fall. These two dresses I got from Target on like super sale, I think for like five bucks each. And they're nice maxi dresses. I didn't wear them like at all in the fall, but I think I just forgot about them. I feel like this one is a little bit more like spring and this one's a little more fall. So we'll keep them for now. This I had gotten to wear as like my Christmas dress last year. I just thrifted it, but I didn't wear it. So I'm just gonna get rid of it. This one is very, very random. It is literally just like a white dress. I just got this from Amazon a couple years ago because what was I? Oh, I was Jenny and Ryan was Forrest Gump for Halloween. And I actually wore this with this vest layered over top of it. And it was like very much that 70s vibe. So I don't know, this is like a good one to layer, I guess. And it's good for costumes. This I think I got in some random thrift box. It is a maxi 
vintage dress, but again, just not the right cut for me. I was thinking I'd wear this for a New Year's party or something, and then we <laughs> didn't end up doing anything, but I think I'll save it for one more year, and then if I don't wear it next year, I'll get rid of it. I love this one. I know a lot of people probably won't, but it is a jumpsuit from ASOS. I think it's just super fun for spring. Also really love this jumpsuit, one of my favorite pieces. This is actually from Stitch Fix, which I did for a hot second. Very, very comfy and stretchy. I've also got this corduroy jumpsuit from Ruli, which I really love, but it is just a little bit too tight on me. So I love it and I wanna keep it, but I cannot. This piece, I don't know in what world I thought I'd ever wear this. It's like a bodycon, <laughs> skin tight, you know, one shoulder black jumpsuit. I don't know where I would go to wear that, so I'm gonna get rid of it. This one's really pretty. I feel like it's like winter party vibes, velvety maxi dress. Need somewhere to wear it, but I do like it, so I'm gonna keep it. Just a fantastic little black jumpsuit, good for so many different things. And we're almost done with the clothes. These are just like a pair of kind of corduroy tight black overalls. Then I've got my regular pair of gap overalls. And then my wedding dress, which I don't know what to do with, so I'll probably just keep it forever. All right, you guys, I got rid of a lot. We're doing well. Look at all this I got rid of so far. Oh my gosh, my camera's freaking out. So I got rid of so much so far. Very proud of myself. And the closet is looking much more manageable. I've got all these hangers, and then randomly, like, half of these clothes still do have the hangers on, so I gotta go through them again. But feeling good about what I've got. Okay, but I forgot I still do have the stuff on the floor. This one's super random. I got it in a thread out box and it's one of those like, it's actually a good brand but nobody knows about it so it wouldn't really sell well. So I thought, oh, I'll just take it. But I thought it was gonna be long enough to wear like with tights, but I don't think it is. So I might give that to my mom or my sister. This one, I'm gonna get rid of. It's just like a little bit too pink. H&M, like star, kind of nicer blouse. I wore this when I went into an office, but don't really need it. I do really like this loft top. It's like a terry cloth feel, so super, super comfy. And this one, just a pretty blouse. I'll keep it for now, but I do need to try this one on. I just thrifted this. I like this one a lot. I like like peplum style. When that was in, it was a good era for me. I just feel like it's flattering on my figure. So I'm just gonna start wearing more peplum stuff. This one I like, but didn't wear it in the fall. I do really like this. Very kind of like blush pink button up. Vintage t-shirt from my uncle, super comfy. I love this colorful umji top. Oh, this is actually a Skims PJ top, so definitely keeping this. I do love this airy sweater. I feel like I was looking for something like this for so long, but I just like don't look good in it. I do love this cupcakes and cashmere sweater. I am gonna get rid of this one. I do wear it a lot cause it's comfy, but I just don't really like stripes and I don't feel good in it. It is Lila P. It is a good brand. Love this cactus sweater from Isalis, I think, very cute. And then I am gonna keep this one from Garage because it is a really good length and I think it is good to wear over dresses. And then randomly, I do have this colorful, stretchy maxi dress, which is actually from Amazon. Wouldn't really recommend ordering clothes from Amazon. Most of the time I have a bad experience, but I do really like this dress. Okay, on the floor, we're doing a speed accessories round because this has gone on far too long. So I feel like I'm so bad with bags, but I vow to be better, but I also know I can get rid of like half of these. This one, I'm gonna compare. I need to like see what brown bags I have. I have like a nicer fossil bag that I wear on a daily basis, but I do really like this one a lot. So I think I'm gonna keep that one. This was my black bag. And then this is a like backpack style. So I think that's very cute. This is not going well so far, but I am gonna get rid of this one for sure. This was one that I got to resell and then I realized that the value like really sucks to resell, but I'll probably either just list it very cheap or I'll donate it. This one I just got from my expensive thrift store. I did get it for $20, but I think this is a super cute bag for spring and summer. Oh, a hat. Throw that up there. See, I did get this at a thrift store or maybe I got this like in a thread up purse box or something. I think this is a cute pop of color little bag. Then I've got this one, which is like grandma vibes, but I kind of love it. Wait, this is hard. I really forgot I had half of these though. And then this one, this is actually a camera bag, but I like this one for like traveling actually. <laughs> it's good for like passports and stuff like that. And then I also kind of like this bag. Wait, I kind of like all these bags, but this one doesn't really hold anything. 
but I feel like it's so chic looking. Okay, this one I can confidently get rid of. Um, this one, I do really like this fossil bag too. Maybe I just actually need to remember that I have these pretty fun bags. This one I'll get rid of. It's just a Rosetti, nothing too special. I got this at an estate sale, so cute. This you just need this kind of bag for amusement parks, whatever. And um, then I do actually have this like real passport bag. So yeah, this is tough actually. I thought I'd be getting rid of literally like all of these, but I forgot that I had them all and I forgot that I actually really liked them. You know what? I think I'm gonna keep them all for now and then I'll reevaluate in six months, but I just need to figure out a way to display them better because right now I just have them. <laughs> all in this basket so I need to just like put them out so I can see them and then I feel like I'll wear them. Now we'll go through scarves super quickly. I literally just thrifted these ones and I don't think I'm gonna wear them but I was thinking maybe I would like decorate with them so I need to think about that. I'm gonna actually put them out so I think about them and then I've got a few different blanket scarves. I feel like I don't need all of these. This one I think is gonna be the one that I get rid of. Super cute but I do have more of like a neutral one, which I wear. And then I also have this really pretty red one, which is more like a literal blanket. So that's good, <laughs> you know, two scarves. Okay, now shoes. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of that many of these, but I do have some that I know I basically have two that serve the same purpose. So I've got these ones that I love. I wear these a lot. They are just from Target. I love the heels. But before I got those, I had actually purchased these Nine West boots from Poshmark and I was thinking when I got these ones that these would be more casual and these would be more dressy but I just end up wearing these ones and I've literally never worn these so I'm gonna get rid of the Nine West ones. I'm talking fast because my camera's filling up. Love these. These aren't docks but they give the same vibe. I've got some white booties back there. I've got some black heeled knee-length booties that I love. I just love boots. Got some brown ones. I've got these other brown ones that I thought I'd wear, but I feel like I just wear these ones in their place. So gonna get rid of these. Got my classic black ones. Got some like maroon ones. These are like a nice gray from Aquatalia, expensive. Got them from Thread Up for cheap. Then I've got my like snow boots, my Birkenstocks, which I got from Play-Dohs for 20 bucks, proud of that. These ones I'm gonna get rid of. I actually had gotten these, I think just from a thrift store, but I didn't realize that they are flawed and they're not very comfortable, but they're a super cute shoe. And after I got those anyway, I then picked up these black ones with the strap on the back from Poshmark, I think. And then I got this pair from Target. Got my pair of dudes, one of my best friends. That's his favorite brand, so they're really comfy. Then I got these fun shoes from Poshmark. I didn't wear them yet, but I feel like they're gonna be a very fall shoe, so I'll have to like remember that I have them in the fall. And just kind of like your basic heels back there. And then I'm a big tennis shoe girly too, tennis shoes and boots. So I've got a few pairs that I love. These ones I'm super sad to get rid of, but my dog ate the back of one. So these are really comfy Allbirds and you can see, I mean, it's not like terrible, but Bernard, my Airedale, ate the back of the one shoe. It, he like ate this part off, but I do really like this style. So I'll definitely be on the lookout for another pair on Posh. And then I do have a pair of Allbird sneakers as well that I like. But yeah, for the most part, I do wear all my sneakers a lot. So I did get rid of uh, three, four pairs of shoes. That's pretty good. Okay, it's about 20 minutes later. I just folded everything and stacked it on top of what I already had. And it's a lot. It's a lot more than I even thought. I feel like I literally got rid of half of my wardrobe and it's a great feeling. My closet is clean for the most part. I've got spare hangers for the stuff that's in the laundry. And yeah, I feel good about what I kept and what I got rid of. I feel like I still have all of my clothing needs met. I mean, I'm far and beyond my clothing needs, but I feel like I like have something for every category and I've still got pattern pieces. So I really don't need to buy anything right now, although I'm sure I will continue to pick up random things whenever I thrift or go out or whatever. But I'm gonna try to be a lot better about thinking, do I really need this? Do I have something that already fits this purpose? <laughs> Trying is the key word, but yeah, I'll never be a minimalist for clothing. I don't think ever, 
I just like clothes too much. I like to wear a variety of clothes, but I definitely want to keep myself in check, especially in the current situation that I have, which is not like a crazy amount of closet space. So let's just say this is your sign to go through your clothes and let me know how that goes for you. <laughs> it is fun. And I will probably list like half of this. I'm not gonna list the stuff that's like not good brands at all or stuff that's too well worn, too flawed, whatever. But a good bit of this I'll list. So if there was anything that you were interested in that you saw me get rid of, just let me know. I'm happy to get rid of this stuff for quite cheap. <laughs> and maybe I'll do a whole other video of trying to like list everything in one day or something like that. But if you did like this video and you wanna see more decluttering content from me, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I do want to do like a decluttering my kitchen, decluttering my storage room. So hopefully that will be fun for you and not too chaotic for me. See if the puppies will say goodbye. Here's the one who ate my shoe, Bernard. And then Gibby's being camera shy, but oh. Thank you again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.